Hi, let's learn more about gameplay as you explore game mechanics and elements. Previously, we looked at the overall gameplay experience and a game's components, the objects or pieces that are used in a game. Now let's take a deeper look at the other two parts of gameplay. To explore game mechanics and elements, let's again break down this tabletop game, Deer in the Headlights. We'll also compare what we've learned to the video game Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Game mechanics are basically how a game is played. The Deer in the Headlights tabletop game comes with detailed instructions for each roll of the dice. Different actions are taken depending on what each player rolls or the state of the dice. This table shows what a player can and cannot do when each type of dice combination is rolled. The player's allowed actions, given the state of the dice, are part of the game's mechanics. Let's take another look at that image from the video game Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle and see if we can identify some game mechanics. At the bottom of the screen is an inventory of moves that the player is allowed to make during their turn in the game. If the player has certain items, they can move in the game world, attack an enemy, or create a force field that protects their character. These are how a player can interact with the battlefield. If the player chooses to move their character, they can only move in designated areas. This shows a spot in the battlefield where the player is allowed to move if they choose to do so. Lastly, a UI component shows how many turn limits the player has remaining. This UI component shows a limitation or constraint on the player, which is a rule-based game mechanic. Game elements are the defining player interactions and objectives of a game. These elements include challenges, objectives, or goals for player to overcome or achieve, opportunities of a player to make meaningful choices, game changes over the course of play, basically the action that moves the game forward, and defined rules and procedures. In our Deer in the Headlights tabletop game, the game's objective or goal is clearly stated in the instructions. To be the first player to discard all of his or her cards in each round. It also explains when the game ends, how to determine a winner, and the overall rules of the game. Additional rules might be defined by the game mechanics as well. Even though this game is mostly about chance, or luck of the dice, we can also see that players have choices during their turn to impact other players. If the dice combination allows it, players can pass additional cards to other players or make them skip a turn. These choices are described in the game instructions for each dice roll combination. In our video game example, Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, we can see that players have lots of choices. Players can choose the action they want their character to take on the battlefield. Players can choose where to move their character. Players can view the battlefield from another angle and strategize their next moves. They might even decide to pass their turn over to the enemies. The game world shows the player boundaries and enforces the rules of the game throughout each battle. Now that you've learned a little about game elements and game mechanics, it's your turn to explore these in other games.